Hey guys, what's up? It's Okay, is it just me or did the lighting just get really, really dark? There we go, that's better. Eh, it's still kind of dark, but whatever. Um, anyway guys, um, so this is the first movie review I'm doing on my new editing software. So, um, yeah, so hope you guys like it. I'm going to be trying out something kind of new that I've never done before. Um, y you'll kind of see what it is near the end, but, uh, and yeah, I'm doing a movie review. Today I'm going to be doing a movie review on American Pie Presents Beta House. Now, the movie is directed by Andrew Waller and stars John White as Eric, Steve Talley as Dwight, Christopher McDonald as Mr. Stifler, and Eugene Levy as Noah. Now, this is the sixth movie in the American Pie series. I know there's eight. There was the first one, the second one, American Wedding, uh, Band Camp, The Naked Mile, this, Book of Love, and then American Reunion. So there's eight movies in total, and this is the sixth one. Uh, this was from 2007, so I was six when this came out, and I actually remember... Uh, my dad showed me a scene from this when I was like around six or seven years old. It was like the scene at the end with like all the barfing. I remember that. But, um, yeah, so, uh, basically this movie, it's pretty much about, um, two cousins, I think it is. Um, no. Well, you know, it's one guy and his friend, uh, Eric and Coos, they're, um, they're, uh, they do, like, a pledge to, like, the Beta House fraternity, and then they have to do, like, all these tasks to get in to the Beta House, and then when, and then, like, uh, a bit later on, um, there are these guys called the Geek House guys, and they're such nerds, but they get all the girls in the school, like, the hottest girls in the school hanging out with them. And the Geek House guys challenged them to a Greek Olympiad, which was like these Greek games that were like banned almost 40 years ago um, at the college. Um, and uh, whoever wins um, the Greek Olympiad will get the uh, loser's uh, house. But um, anyway, um, that's essentially what the movie's about. And uh, guys, I love the American Pie movies. They're they're honestly great movies. I've seen the first three. I haven't seen I've seen the first three from start to finish. I haven't seen any of the fourth one. I've seen like ten seconds of the Naked Mile. Obviously, I've seen this one. Um, uh, and I haven't seen any of the Book of Love or American Reunion. But um, what do voice crack there? But what do I think of this one? It's definitely pretty entertaining and funny, but does it compare to the originals in any way? No, it doesn't. Don't get me wrong, this is an entertaining and a funny movie. Like, don't get me wrong, but the thing is, a lot of people, like, if you're easily offended, you won't like this. Because, and even if you don't get easily offended, you may get offended by this movie. Because there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of vulgar and gross and lewd, rude, crude humor in this movie. Like, you know, let me, let's just say that I will never look at sheep, teddy bears or guns the same way ever again <laughs> and you'll see why if you like if you've seen this movie you'll know what i mean but let's just say i will never look at sheep teddy bears or guns the same way again not like real guns like toy guns the same way again um so guys like again like you know this almost seems like that stereotypical movie that those dirt bags from Boston would watch with their buddies and laugh and have a good time with. It's almost like one of those movies, but like, don't get me wrong. It, I do think it is a funny and entertaining movie. And there were like quite a few moments where I was laughing because this movie is pretty funny. 
Um, but you know, like a lot, but most of the times when I was laughing, I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> Because I was like, it's it's very gross and very vulgar. Like, okay, I would say it almost takes it to Brothers Grimsby level, but it kind of doesn't. Well, okay, some at some points it takes it to Brothers Grimsby level. Um, like, there's definitely one scene that involves a sheep. I'll say that, like, okay, the sheep and the toy gun scene, like, the teddy bear scene compared to the sheep and the scene with the toy guns, I'll just say Greek roulette, the teddy bear scene doesn't even compare at all to the sheep and the, uh, the, uh, toy guns, because there are some parts in this where it actually takes it to Brothers Grimsby level, but, yeah, like, don't get me wrong, this is a good, like, like, it, the most I'm willing to give it is it is good. It isn't great by any means. And it does not compare in any way to the originals. And um, also one thing that I thought was really funny was uh, the main character that plays Eric. I'm pretty sure that's him, uh, John White. Uh, he um, was actually in an episode of the TV show Goosebumps when he was younger. He was in the... Uh, Cuckoo Clock of Doom episode, he played the main character. He was in that, which kind of doesn't surprise me, because he was actually born in Canada. He was born in Toronto, actually. But, yeah, so, you know, I would say, like, you know, I'd recommend this to you if you were a really die-hard American Pie fan. And also, I feel like if you're really into, like, gross and vulgar sexual humor, and also if you're into a lot of nudity, because this has a lot of nudity in it, too, but if you're a really die-hard American Pie fan, or if you're really into gross and vulgar sexual humor, this movie is definitely for you. But as I said, guys, this this is still a pretty funny and entertaining movie. Kind of slow in some parts, but like it, it, it is good, but it does not com compare to the originals at all. But it is pretty funny. Guys, I'm going to give American Pie Beta House... A C plus. Don't get me wrong, as I keep saying, this is this is a funny movie, but it will not compare to the originals, and it never will. I mean, I do think this movie's kind of unfairly hated on. Like, like some people should give it a chance, but then again, I can kind of see why a lot of people didn't like it. And um, also, what I found really weird, there's like, not that I'm complaining, but there's like a as an unrated exclusive, it says booby yolog, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Music with boobs dancing all around. Although there's one really cruel joke. It's just a prank, bro. Hidden in there. Well, not really hidden, but it's in there. But yeah, guys, so again, I'd recommend this to you if you're a diehard American Pie fan. Also, if you like really gross and vulgar sexual humor, I'm going to give the pros of it. Pros, Eugene Levy. That's all I need to say for that. Um, pretty funny. Quite entertaining. Cons. Does not compare to the originals. Some jokes really take it to Brothers Grimsby level, which I know is going to be a con for a lot of people. So that's why I said it. And, yeah, that's really all I can think about it. Like, that's all I can really say for the cons. But, yeah, so anyway, guys, I'm giving this a C+. Plus. Um... I would definitely watch it again because, you know, it is it is a pretty entertaining movie. But anyway, guys, that's all for this movie review. Um, subscribe for more content. And I remember, you guys, drink some beer, eat a bobblehead's toe, and I'll see you back at the clubhouse.